This video is based on the journal article called The Role of Immune Mechanisms in Abdominal Aortic Aneurysm. Could it be a promising therapeutic strategy? By Rasset Dink. The link to the article can be found in the description box below. Let's begin. Abdominal aortic aneurysm, or AAA, is primarily an asymptomatic disease, often detected incidentally. The current standard of care involves monitoring the diameter of the aneurysm through regular ultrasounds. However, no effective drug therapies have yet been developed to treat or slow the progression of AAA, leaving surgery as the main option. While the size of the aneurysm is the primary indicator for surgery, this measurement alone is not always a reliable predictor of rupture. Some small aneurysms may rupture unexpectedly, while larger ones may remain stable for extended periods. This makes the current surveillance approach not only limited in accuracy, but also a financial burden on healthcare systems. Recent advances in research, however, suggest that new biomarkers could offer a more precise way to detect and predict the progression of AAA. These biomarkers are associated with various factors such as inflammation, lipid metabolism and oxidative stress. Among the most promising are growth differentiation factor 15, GDF 15 and cystatin B, CSTB, both showing strong diagnostic potential. In addition, meloperoxidase, MPO, has emerged as a key prognostic marker linked to the likelihood of aneurysm rupture. Biomarkers tied to common risk factors like smoking, hypertension and hyperlipidemia are also being explored. For instance, elevated levels of MMP12, an enzyme involved in the breakdown of the extracellular matrix, have been associated with AAA progression. Genetic studies and epigenetic research are further enhancing our understanding, revealing how inherited factors and gene mutations might predispose certain individuals to the disease. As we move forward, integrating these biomarkers into clinical practice could significantly improve how AAA is diagnosed and managed. Not only could they enable earlier detection, but they may also provide insight into personalised surveillance strategies, potentially reducing the need for frequent imaging and offering a more tailored approach to treatment. Rasit Dink has also authored several books that examine related topics within the realm of healthcare and healthcare in the digital age. The links to these works can be found in the description box as well. If you found this information valuable, we encourage you to subscribe for more insightful content on the future of healthcare.